Hey guys, Steven here. Push this gate open. Oh. Alright, there we go. So anyways, what I'm about to do is I need to check the fluids on the Crown Vic because like a few days ago it started like acting weird. And I'm also going to start it up again with the hood open so I can see if it's making any other noises. And I'm about to show you all that clip of the noise it was making while it was running. So don't be confused if you see second intro in this video. So yeah. Enjoy that clip. Hey guys, Steven here. So I just got back home from running down to my parents' old house to see the tree work. Get, hey, get up, go back. Yeah, this gate's open. And I took the crown Vic. <laughs> Anyways, the weird thing is like once I started going into my driveway, it started making like a weird noise. I'm not gonna drive off or anything. I'm just gonna start it, possibly even pop the hood. It made a really weird noise. Turn my copyright off. That does not sound normal. Like, I have no idea what that sounded like, or how to describe it, that's what I meant. I just put my hand, almost, almost, <sighs> I can't. No, it could be some with the engine. I don't see anything out of place though. Should have checked the fluids. I probably need to do that. At some point I gotta check the oil. Hopefully that'll be just the case. But I gotta let it cool down for a little bit. My hand always gets dirty whenever I work on something on that car. But I guess I'll just pick up this video in a few minutes. Or whenever the car cools down enough to where I can check the oil. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna check this. Even though I kinda doubt it's empty. We have some coin in there. It's just like water in the antifreeze. Washer fluid, this thing doesn't even have those little things that spray the windshield. I'm gonna just check the oil. Oh, we're still good on oil. Try to put the dipstick back in there. There we go. And I dripped some on the thing. Hopefully, I didn't drip any of my slippers. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm about to start it up again and see if it makes the same exact noise. So I got the key right here. Alright. I 
that does not sound normal at all. Like I remember it started right when I was pulling up this driveway. So yeah. And school is actually gonna be starting back up very soon. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. School is gonna be starting up very soon, and, and if that thing's making like weird noises, I can't trust it. <clears throat> so that means I gotta get the F-150 back up and running like within a week. Cause May 18th, they're gonna start letting people go back to school in like groups of five or less. <clears throat> thing is, I think there's also something wrong with the F-150. I already replaced the solenoid, but I might need to replace the starter as well. So I'm just gonna demonstrate really quickly. I haven't been in this truck in a little bit. All right, so putting the key in the ignition. Hold on, I'll, I'll turn it around so y'all guys can see what I'm doing. See, nothing. Turn my copy right down. Nothing at all. actually jump off the solenoid again. I'm just gonna let this thing run for like a minute or so. There's the solenoid we replaced. That was a few videos ago. And I also had to replace this because the other one broke. Oh wait, that's the wrong key. So anyways, oh, drop my keys. My screwdriver, here it is. Turn all this window down all the way. So I don't lock my key in. Cause I've almost done that before. Got it up and running. I'm not gonna drive it anywhere at the moment. Especially since Spock and Kip are still outside and I have a few other things I need to do. I'm just gonna let this thing run a little bit. Because it obviously hasn't run in a little bit. Yeah, it hasn't run in a little bit. It's been like almost two weeks since this thing's run. And while I'm just letting this thing run a little bit, I just wanted to let y'all know I'm gonna be doing a Q&A soon for this channel. So yeah, that'll be pretty exciting. Now I'm just gonna let this thing run. And I recommend using a screwdriver for if you need to jump off the solenoid. That's my advice for y'all. And the last video is about the list of things I need to do to fix this truck and get it like completely road ready. That'll still be coming very soon. So yeah. But without further ado, we're gonna just shut it off. and see if it starts back up. Nope. So, I definitely need might need to replace the starter on this thing as well. Probably. So, yeah. 
But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope y'all all enjoyed. We're going to get this F-150 back on the road. Thankfully, it's nothing major. Oh, wait, it's Sunday. I'm, I'm losing count of all the days. <laughs> now I have a pretty big issue with Crown Vic. And still have a minor little issue on the F-150 as long as well as the other things I need to fix on it, which are just minor, thankfully. <sighs> I'm gonna actually start working on that and I'm even gonna show my dad about what's been happening with the Crown Vic. And believe it or not, it's actually my backup vehicle. <clears throat> So maybe whenever we sell it, I can try to talk him into getting like another backup vehicle for me. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely bye bye for the Crown Vic. The F-150 ain't going anywhere for the next three years. Like if I can get the rest of 2020, 2021, and 2022 out of it, 2023, I'll start looking for a new truck. And it just depends on if I get a job by the time this pandemic ends. Like, hopefully it'll end soon. But anyways, please be sure to subscribe. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up any of my videos. Get your friends to watch my channel. Get them to subscribe. <sighs> a lot of things gonna be that are going to be done with the F-150. Crown Vic. Uh, might say goodbye to it. Anyways, I got... Some stuff I need to do out here. So yeah, I'll just talk to y'all later. <laughs>